Hey guys, so today we are going to be making a bourbon glaze meatloaf. This meatloaf is going to be amazing. So we're just going to go right into it. I have my ground beef right here. It's optional. You can use ground beef. You can use chicken. You can use turkey. I usually use turkey because I love turkey. Um, but today we are going to use ground beef. So I have my breadcrumbs. This is plain breadcrumbs. And just remember all the ingredients will be in the description box below. I'm also going to add in my eggs. I have two eggs. I have some bell pepper and jalapenos. Don't sleep on those jalapenos, y'all. I have some onions. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add my onion powder and the garlic powder. All purpose seasoning. Milk. I have Worcestershire sauce. And now we're gonna add some salt and pepper and we're gonna mix everything together. Hey guys, so we're gonna go ahead and start making our bourbon sauce for our meatloaf. So I'm gonna go ahead and add in my apricot jam. This is the brand that I'm using. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add in my Make sure your fire is on low at the time. I have dark brown sugar. I also have some sriracha. Some bourbon. also have some barbecue sauce. You can use any type of barbecue sauce you do like. I like Sweet Baby Ray's, that is my favorite. Go ahead and add that. And we're also gonna add about one fourth cup of water. All right, and we're just pretty much just gonna cook this down until it becomes a nice consistency and it comes to a boil. So we blended up the sauce. Now take a look guys. It is perfect. Hey guys, so let's start building our meatloaf. So I'm gonna add about half of the meatloaf down. All right, and now we are gonna fill it in with cheese, guys. You can skip this step if you do not want the cheese, but come on, y'all. We don't like cheese. Now we're gonna add the rest right on top. And pretty much you're just building a little mountain. All right, and just make sure that you shape it and that you are hot in the cheese. We don't want it gushing out. Just pretty much pressing the meatloaf together. You don't want it too high because you want it to cook inside. All right, and now let's go ahead and get the bourbon sauce and we're just gonna put a little bit on the top so hopefully you allowed it to cool off and now we're just gonna add some of that right on top all right and I'm gonna stick this in the oven for about an hour 
and as I stated before 30 minutes in we are gonna glaze it again okay guys my meatloaf is all done I let it rest for a little bit before we started to cut it so let's go ahead and take a look thank you so much for watching please like and subscribe and also stay tuned for more recipes